Hi, and welcome to the next video. In this video, I will tell you something more about how action types and nested actions work. You can find your action type library right here on your project. Here you will get a list of all your action types. You can search for action types using the search bar in the top right corner and then choose to delete or edit an action type. With the blue button in the top left corner, you can add a new action type. So let's do that. A pop-up appears now where you can fill in some detailed information about the action type that you want to add. For the name, we'll say drive. We'll give it a des description like this is the drive from one location to another. And for the procedure, we'll say make sure to follow the linked checklists. A fixed action price is something that comes in very handy when we try to generate codes from projects, but that is something for a future video. This action type does not need a risk assessment and is not a flight type. We can now click on create. What opens up now is the detail screen of an action type. This creates the same screen that would open if you would click on the pen icon to edit an action type. On the left side of the screen, we'll see action type details we filled in previously and you can change them here as well. Now at the top, we can see something interesting. A second tab for checklists has appeared. Let's open this tab. Here you get an overview of all the checklists that are linked to this action type. Now what, this, that, what, now what that means is that whenever you select this action type from the dropdown in the project creation, all the checklists will get automatically linked to this action and the crew who will execute this action will get these checklists as a to-do, but more on executing actions and checklists in another video. For now, it is just important to remember that you can link checklists to action types. To add a checklist to an action type, you have two options, create a new checklist from scratch or link a checklist that you already imported into your account. Let's start with creating a new checklist and click the create checklist button. I'll go over this quickly as we'll do a whole other video on checklists because they are very versatile. Let's give this the title driver checklist. The first point could be car keys, then driver's license and so on. If we now click on save, we will go back to the overview of checklists that are linked to this action type. Another way to add checklists is to select them from the ones that are already in your account. You can do this by clicking the drop down menu and selecting the checklist you want to add and click on confirm. Now we come to the point of nested action types. Nested action types is where you actually group a number of action types under one action type. Let me show you how we do that. We first create a new action type and give it the name standard flight. We'll give it nested action as a description, no procedure and a fixed price of 600 euros. If we click create, we see the overview screen again. On the right, we see action type breakdown. We can add action types from our actions type library to this action type. You can just select them from the dropdown. So let's add a couple of them. We'll start with the standard meeting, then the prospection, then the standard flight, then the data analysis. We can now move the different action types around to change the order. Check if the action type is sequential. This checkbook means that if checked, the previous action has to happen before this one can happen. If not checked, they can happen at the same time. The duration is handy to set because that way we can auto plan the project. You can set it in minutes, hours or days. Let's say that they all take 60 minutes and you can of course remove them from the action type as well. There are a couple of ways we can use nested action types. Let's first go to projects under projects in our menu. If we now open a project, we can add an action type by clicking the add empty action button. But we can also select an action type from the dropdown. If we now select the nested action that we just created, standard flight, you can see that this action type gets added the same way normal action types work, with the only exception that there's a plus sign added to the action type. If we click the plus sign, the action type we previously added to the action type appear. And we, if we check the time on these actions, you see that the platform automatically scheduled these actions. Another way to use the nested actions is to go back to projects, scroll down, and instead of clicking the add project button to create a new project, you can select one of your nested actions from the drop-down list. 
So if you pick standard flight now, you can see that the whole project gets created based on the action type. Your project name is in it, the face has a name, and of course, you can build your project further from this. To see your nested actions, you can go to the action types library in the menu, and all the action types that have a plus sign next to them are nested action types. If you want to see which actions are nested inside these action types, you can just click the plus button. That was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.